So we're here with Head, and uh, you got a new solution for uh, all skiing heads out there. What is this? Exactly. So that's our radar helmet. Uh, just got awarded by the ISPO with the gold winner, and uh, it's a super integrated solution of a visor helmet. Oh, congratulations to the win! Uh, so what do we have here? It's a goggle and a helmet uh, into one piece. Exactly, so uh, visor helmet is a strong segment, there is many customers uh, for exactly this segment. It's great for people who wear uh, prescription glasses or who want to have sunglasses on, but then still looking for a perfectly uh, integrated solution for their helmet. And uh, this is where the visor kicks in, uh, where the radar kicks in. And um, I can maybe demonstrate you how it exactly works and how it looks like. Yeah, please do, please do. Uh Put it on. So if we if we start with the helmet, what what type of helmet is it? It's an in-mold construction, and uh, of course it's a visor helmet. It has a visor on it. Uh, we use it's very lightweight, uh, PC shell, and also it's all covered around the edges, so you don't see the APS. So also from a design standpoint, it's very uh, upfront and it's very modern, looks sporty. And uh, you pointed out before, it's the first visor helmet you saw that you don't feel is very ugly, and this is how we uh, we see it as well. So it's exactly this helmet for people who normally don't do visor helmets and that's our, our group here. Good start and is there a, oh yeah there's the BOA system in the back? Exactly it's BOA system and also it has a completely new fit system it's called Sphere Fit. Uh, Sphere Fit is also a patent by us so the liner of the helmet is a free hanging construction and when you adjust here the fit with the BOA reel then you can already see that the whole inner part which is free hanging adapts to your head so it's really snug and comfortable fit uh, that you that you achieve by that. Yeah. Looks really good and how about the, the ventilation is it uh, up front there? Yeah, ventilation is adjustable, so you have it here, uh, many vent holes, so you have a nice helmet climber, very comfortable. You can adjust the ventilation uh, if it's open or if it's closed or in a two-way, so everything there that you would expect from a, from a helmet in that category. And now to the visor then, how, how does it work? Sorry. I can show this to you. So. If you put it on, we also have a nice uh, magnetic fitlock buckle here. So also this is very modern, so you can easily open it, click it, put it on. And then uh, uh, if you try it yourself afterwards, you will feel that the, the liner is really wrapping around your whole head. And then uh, so you simply take it and uh, close the fitlock. So everything is set. And then for the visor itself, you simply open it and then you bring it down and it creates this whole integrated look here also on the lower section there is no wind coming in so it seals off very nice and because normally visors they are mounted here on the side so they come down and they have a fixed position but this one here you can see this already has this elastomeres so it pulls the visor to the head which really adapts and then everything is closed and integrated looks looks really snug it, it's no we call it gorby gap if you have exactly, a gap you know yeah. there's no gorby gap there no there is none of this so no gaper gap and uh, simply open it and close it then if you want to put it up again do it like that are the lens uh, changeable or is it uh, always the same lens no lenses are exchangeable we offer certain categories here and as easy as you open and close the visor you can also change the lens so you take this, so there's this elastomere. We tested this, by the way, 12,000 times. So that simulates a use of six years. And um, so you don't need to be too sensitive with this. You simply take it and then uh, you click out the lens here and uh, then you can change it. And you can also see that the lens, other than for standard visor helmets, has a very small volume. So you can also carry the spare lens in your jacket. And if the weather conditions change, then you simply uh, pop it out and then you take it again and then uh, click it in here in uh, the lens and you're good to go again. So that doesn't take more than two seconds. And uh, when you buy uh, the head radar, do you get one lens or do, you, or do you get many and then you buy more as an option or how does that work? So there is one lens pre-mounted, it's a category S2, this, uh, the one you see here with the mirror coating with uh, orange uh, lens, so it's uh, using uh, usable for all mountain conditions and then you can buy a different lens for a category S1 or an S3 and we also offer the a polarized solution. But the helmet itself comes pre-packed only with one lens. And what uh, price money wise, what are we talking about here in euros with the uh, head radar? The standard version, the one that I'm holding here, is retailing for 200 euro and the polarized version for 250. And the spare lenses? 
Spare lenses are 60 euro for uh, S1, S2 and S3. And what do you call them? S1, 2, 3, what does S stand for? Category uh, 1, so uh, category 1 is for low light conditions, category 2 or snowy conditions, category S2 is like the general miscellaneous, cloudy, sunny, whatever, changing conditions, and S3 is sunny conditions. So S3 is really a mirror lens that exactly. blocks out. So there's a chrome mirror on it, looks very nice. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, don't forget to check out some more videos from us uh, up here and subscribe. All right, thank you a lot. Cheers, guys. Thanks for coming. Have a good day.